Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's review we're going to be taking a look at the brand new APC Toys 01 Attack Prime 2.0 version. The 2.0 version is a better painted chrome and silver version of their previously released Attack Prime. This figure is now currently available to order right now over at Show Z store. So for that I will include a link down in the description box below to of course both the Attack Prime listing and a listing to Show Z store's front page. Very similarly to the Dark Master Megatron that I recently just reviewed the artwork on the front of the packaging looks absolutely incredible with the Transformers Prime Optimus Prime design clearly displayed here on the front of the packaging I absolutely love the design and the colors that they've got going on here for the front of the box as we turn around to the side we do indeed have a product image of the figure in his robot mode and then on the side of the packaging we also have got some additional shots showing him in both robot mode as well as vehicle mode and here is where you can see some of the additional pen applications such as the completely painted guns as well as now the chrome smokestacks chrome front grille so without further ado let's crack this box open and see what awaits us inside. And so here we have the APC Toys Attack Prime 2.0 version fully opened up and out of the packaging and looking absolutely magnificent. Similarly to my review of the previously released Dark Master also from APC Toys, I'm pretty certain that this is an almost perfect rendition of Optimus Prime's appearance from the Transformers animated series. This looks exactly how I imagine Optimus Prime looking from my childhood after watching all of the episodes of Transformers Prime whilst growing up. This was my version of an animated Optimus Prime and it's been beautifully recaptured here with APC Toys latest rendition. Now of course this is just a reuse of the Hasbro Transformers Prime first edition mold however that was actually a cancelled figure and was incredibly difficult to find. Luckily I did manage to source one so I will be showing a direct comparison between this figure and the previously released Hasbro version however I can say straight away that this one is definitely a lot more screen accurate to Optimus's appearance both in terms of the colour scheme used as well as some of the additional accessories that he does include and I also think that this figure is more worth the price point the Hasbro version it goes for astronomical prices now whereas this one is priced really reasonably starting off with some of the additional accessories we do indeed get a pair of Energon blades we see Optimus use these throughout his entirety on the show so I'm so glad that they did indeed include two and not just the one that we got with the first edition prime these have been cast in an amazing blue transparent plastic I absolutely love this shade of blue and transparent plastic in general so to get the two amalgamated into one one piece is just absolutely fantastic. You can see here that we've got some phenomenal silver paint applications to bring out some of the sharper details of the sculpt and similarly to the blasters these can indeed be stored onto either of Optimus's hands. Do also come with a secondary head sculpt. Now this is the head sculpt that does indeed come packaged with the figure. This is his mouth guard look, a more traditional look for Optimus Prime. However I've always seen a Transformers Prime Optimus with a mouth guard and now that we have the option to swap it out for the non mouth guard look that is the look that I'll be keeping on this figure as I think it looks awesome and it's so different from the other Transformers Prime Optimus Prime that I have in the collection. The other accessories that of course we get are Optimus's two ion blasters. These have been sculpted and painted so so nicely. Now from what I can tell these are also just a reuse of the Transformers Prime version just of course this time painted a lot better. These have been completely painted in a metallic silver with this amazing metallic blue applied over the top as of course Optimus Prime's fire blast in the show is this blue energy effect and I think that they've captured the look here really lovely with these blasters. We do also get the Star Saber as well so that's an awesome accessory. You can see that that is here pegged onto his back so we do get this stand port. I will just remove it. We get the hilt that port into this port there on the back and just removing it and showing you the blade. Similarly to the Dark Star Saber, the sculpt work on this is absolutely amazing and we once again have that blue transparent plastic with some phenomenal gold and silver highlights. It inserts into the figure's hand exactly the same as the Dark Master's sword, so you simply just want to remove the end section here of the actual handle section. You can remove the blade on this one as well if you so desire, so that's quite cool. However, I believe the blade is always depicted as looking like this in the show and then just turning around here and removing one of his blasters, rotating the wrist around you just simply slide this in and then take the end cap here, align it up appropriately as it does go on a specific way, slot that over the top and there we have Optimus Prime wielding the Star Saber and that is just absolutely amazing. I think that this is a beautiful looking piece and even with that accessory the colours just pop so nicely with one another. Taking a look now at the mouth plateless head sculpt you can see perfect recreation to what we've got in the animated series. You can see all of them lovely sculpted in detailing of the mouth as well as the eyes have also been sculpted. We've got some silver highlights on the side of the head as well as here on the crest. He does indeed have some blue light piping as well so if you do get some light 
shining through that. It does look awesome and really brings the character to life. Now here you're going to start seeing some of the paint differences between this version, the 2.0 version, to their original release. So they have completely painted these sections here silver, which I think looks better. They've blacked out the windows, which once again I think looks better. The smokestacks are completely chrome, which just gives this figure a more premium feel and a more visually appealing feel. You can also see that the front bumper section, the grille section of the truck mode, is also done in a lovely chrome colour scheme and all of the hubcaps have been painted in this really lovely silver. The torso has got some nice metallic silver with some gold highlights. You can see here for the arms, the sculpt work, the proportions are all really lovely. And then here for the thighs, very elegant and sleek in the design. And then as we get down to the shins, the metallic blue paint applications, as well as the silver contrast really nicely, as well as these red pieces of plastic here at the bottom. Similarly to their Dark Master, this figure is completely painted everywhere. There is no area of the figure which has gone unpainted other than some of the molded plastic. So the legs, everything, the joints, all has been painted amazingly. And in all, I just think that this is a beautiful looking piece. In terms of articulation, the head is on a ball joint so it can look left to right, as well as look up quite far. This looks further up than the masked version and it can also look down. The arms can rotate the full 360 degrees. We also have got a hinge joint here for the shoulder section so that you can hinge the shoulder joint out to the side so the shoulder pad will accommodate the range of motion. Full 360 here at the bicep as well as a 90 degree bend there for the elbow and the wrists can also rotate the full 360. Due to transformation we do get a waist rotation joint however similarly to the Transformers Prime first edition Voyager as you begin to rotate it it does look rather unsightly. So whilst the waist articulation is there it certainly doesn't look the best however if you have this figure posed I'm sure that nobody's going to notice the legs can kick forwards that far as well as back to that far they can hinge out to the sides as well as rotate the full 360 here just above the knee joint we do indeed get a 90 degree bend there at the knee and then finally the feet are really nice and articulated they can pivot forwards and backwards as well as hinge in and out so for a 2011 Voyager class mold I think the articulation on this piece was phenomenal and of course the articulation to some of the more updated figures now is classed as being some of the best we've gotten, whereas the original Transformers Prime Voyager Optimus did it many, many years ago. For a Transformers Prime related size comparison, here we have APC Attack Prime compared next to the most recently reviewed APC Dark Master, and I think Prime and Megatron here scale really lovely. Megatron has always been slightly taller than Optimus Prime, and that here is evident. So the scale between these two I think is flawless to what we see in the show. And here for a comparison, here we have the new APC version compared next to the original Hasbro first edition version. Now unfortunately a couple of years ago this did take a shelf dive and that's why it does have some cracks. I did have to glue it back together which is so annoying but you can see the complete differences in terms of the paint applications and how paint applications can indeed completely change the look of a figure. This looks completely different when compared to the first edition version however they are exactly the same size in terms of their height. The transformations are the same and all of the elements are completely the same as well so there's really no mold changes other than the head sculpt and of course you saw earlier on that this version does include the head sculpt that we did get here with the original release so in my opinion the APC version is by far the superior out of the two. Now turning to the transformation to begin with we're going to want to start off here with the arms you're going to want to hinge this section forwards and then collapse the wrist inwards and then take this here and you can see a tab that will peg into this port here so just rotate this up and snap that in nice and securely repeat the same process here for the opposite side so just hinge that section down, rotate this up and snap that all nice and securely into place. We're going to want to take these sections here and just disconnect those and then bring these front windows together. Just compress all this in and then you're going to want to rotate these sections up and then that's when you're going to want to tab all this together. We can then take these pieces here and rotate these around, repeat the same process here and of course snap those together nice and securely. We can then rotate the waist around now so that the front is now facing the back and hinge this all the way down. Once that's done, you're going to want to fold this whole section in and these tabs will insert into these slots here and here. So just hinge this all the way down, align all that up nice and appropriately, snap that nice and securely into place and then here just hinge these sections backwards. Take these pieces here and hinge those forwards. Repeat the same process here for this side. So just hinge all of this forward, rotate this section down, rotate this section down also. And you can see that this piece here will slide and groove into that really lovely and securely and snug. So just snap all of that in. And then we can just align the front bumper section up 
and apply some force and that will clip together. Turning to this section, hinge this panel out and hinge this one out. And something to note which has indeed carried over from the first edition mould, you can even see some lovely interior detailing in there such as the steering wheel as well as the dashboard. We're then going to want to take the head and just hinge that backwards. Coming now to the legs, you're going to want to collapse the heel spurs in upon themselves and then extend all of this up, extend all of this up. Come here now and flip out the trailer hitch, tab these in together and then that will snap into place. Align these sections up, just slide those in and then hinge this all up, bring these sections down. So you can see, just hinge all that down, realign the smokestack if it comes untabbed, collapse all of this in, collapse this top section in, just align the rear end of the truck mode. And here we have APC Attack Prime fully transformed up into his amazing looking truck mode. And similarly to APC Dark Master, this is a fantastic recreation of Optimus Prime in his truck mode. Now, of course, this is exactly the same as what we got with the first edition Optimus Prime. However, with the chrome detailing as well as the silver paint applications, I think that it greatly excels the detail. You can see the chrome grill here looks truly splendid. Very premium in my opinion and leaps and bounds better than the standard grey plastic. You can see that the window wipers have been painted in a nice silver as so as this light bar section here at the top. Lovely chrome smokestacks, very durable as well, they don't feel cheap. Silver section here, all the hubcaps have been picked out in a lovely silver. And you can turn around to the back, you can see that it, whilst it may not be the most tidy at the back, it's definitely a lot cleaner than what we get with some of the newer figures nowadays. And then turning to the underside, very nice and compact here at the top. So in all, a fantastic looking truck mode and rolls absolutely amazing. You can see proper pinned on wheels, unlike some of the Hasbro releases which have the plug on wheels. So this has no problem rolling out whatsoever. Autobots Maximum Overdrive. So that was my review for the brand new APC Toys Attack Prime 2.0 version. In my opinion, this is the best version of a Transformers Prime Optimus Prime. Similarly to what I said in the APC Dark Master review, I think that APC are doing a terrific job in handling the Transformers Prime releases. They're taking some of the older moulds, adding some improvements in terms of Megatron's case, and also drastically amplifying the paint applications to give us the most definitive look and the best representations of our favourite characters. Both of these releases, both Optimus Prime and Megatron are completely loaded with all of the accessories that you would want to see them with, such as the Star Saber, the Energon Blades, the interchangeable head sculpt, as well as, of course, two Ion Blasters. I think that this is a flawless figure. I've always loved the original first edition Prime, so to get it re-released here by APC Toys with a much more premium paint deco, I'm all for it and cannot recommend this enough. So with all that being said, if you are looking to purchase this figure, I do recommend that you purchase the 2.0 version over the previous versions as I think that this is the version that looks the best out of all of the Optimus Primes released by APC Toys then I will include a link down in the description box below where you'll be taken to Shozy store where you can purchase this figure right now as well as check out some of the other APC related figures. I really do hope that you enjoyed this review if you did please do let me know down in the comment section below also be sure to let me know what you think of both the review and the figure I'd be really eager to know whether or not you agree with me in saying that this is the best version of Transformers Prime Optimus Prime and until my next review I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.